Hi there, welcome to the Retro Shed. Now, this is going to be a really quick video today. Um, people have been asking me to do this video since Christmas, and to be honest with you, I haven't had time. So, But today, I have a bit of spare time, and I thought I would show you uh, the Atari Arcade 1UP Star Wars cabinet. Now, you've seen this, you all know what this is. It is a 17-inch, uh, slightly shorter version than the original cabinet. Uh, there it is on its riser. Love the glowing coin slots as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous thing. Um, now, just before Christmas on uh, Amazon Black Friday, this was going for £500 and I couldn't resist. And I had to make some room in the shed to fit it in, as you can see. But I think you'll agree, it does fit quite nicely there. And it's almost the same height as my bar top, actually. Which is very nice indeed. Now, £500, I could not pass this up. I've wanted my own Star Wars cabinet since I was, oh, I don't know, what do you reckon, 12, 13 years old? This is really nice. Yes, it's missing the, the mouldings left and right that you get on the original, but that that's fine, you know, I'm not, I'm not too bothered about that. The one thing I have done to this is I've swapped the flight yoke out. This is um, a GRC Thunderstick flight yoke. That's a 200 pound flight yoke and it's made of, it's solid, it's metal, it's not plastic. The original one is down here. Let me show you this. This is the flight yoke that comes with it and it's fine, it's okay. It's a bit plasticky. Um, it, you know, it makes, uh, I don't know if I can, I can't really show you it spinning, yeah. It's, it's all right, it's not ideal. As you can see, it's got potentiometers on it. It makes some funny springy sounds. The, the buttons aren't as nicely micro switched as the original, but you know, it's a 500 pound cabinet and that's what you get with it. This one is all metal um, and the switches in it are all micro switched. Hang on. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> let me turn the volume down because the game's going to kick off now. But this is Hall Effect. Uh, I don't think there's any pots in there. You can't hear any twanging of springs and it's very, very smooth. It's beautiful. I put that sticker on there, by the way, if anybody was uh, wondering, that sticker did not come with it. So I've modded that out. I swapped that out. It's not hard. You just take this fascia panel off. Um, there's four screws and a wiring loom. And the wiring loom is lovely and easy to, um, to swap out. They just, you just connect these up. So let's get that out of the way. But yeah, um, the other day on our Facebook group, uh, we have a Retro Shed Facebook group. Please come and join that if you're interested in having a chat with like-minded gamers. Somebody asked me, I think, it was, I think it was Darren Jones from Retro Gamer, said he was reluctant to buy it because he was worried that the display on a flat screen wouldn't be as good as a CRT. And I totally understand what he's going on about. Um, so I thought I'd do this video. You can have a look and see how good it is. Now, yesterday we went to Arcade Club in Bury and had a great time, met up with some mates, had some beers and played some games, as you do. And I played on two Star Wars cabinets. One of them was the upright, stand up like this, and the other one was the cockpit. Um, the stand up version had a very poor screen indeed. It was out of focus, it was a bit blurry and the, the visuals were very, very washed out. So I couldn't really see the fireballs properly. Very difficult to play. And I'm sure that will purely be down to the age of the machine. I mean, those vector CRTs need a lot of maintenance. They're getting on a bit now, aren't they? Um, and it probably needed a bit of TLC. Now upstairs they had the cockpit cabinet, which was, I've got to admit, the display was much better. Uh, the cockpit was in a much darker part of the arcade, so there's not much ambient light there. So it was much, much easier to play. But there was still a bit of screen warping to the left and the right. Um, and generally it was just easier to play because you can see better. So what I thought I'd do, quick video to show you how good this screen is. This is a 17 inch flat screen, um, obviously not a vector screen at all, but I mean, if I zoom in, that's how sharp it is. There are some settings in the menu of this version. You can adjust afterglow and put some effects on it, but I've turned all those off. What, what you're looking at there is the display with all the, um, the glare and everything turned off and you can see how sharp it is. Um, before I show you some gameplay, here's a quick montage of this machine arriving flat packed and uh, you get an idea of how much work you've got to do to put it together. It took me about an hour and a half to, to put all this together.
obviously this cabinet doesn't have a video out so I'm just going to, have to put the camera over my shoulder and hopefully you get an, get the idea of um, what it looks like so let's uh, let's crack on let's, try it, Danny, bye. let's give it a go come on hard let's go I'm just going to turn the volume down if I can. Oh, hang on. There you go. So, I've got to say, this controller makes all the difference. It's absolutely gorgeous to play this game with this uh, GRC flight controller. Hopefully, you can see that all right. Like I say, this display, even though it's a flat screen, works really well. And it's so much clearer than the um, arcade machines I was playing on yesterday. But I suspect, due, due to their age, they need some maintenance. Oh, God. Let's go over here. There's three left to get. There's one. There's two. Oh, missed that one. Damn it! <laughs> One tower. <coughs> oh God, still got this bloody irritating cough, which I've had since Christmas now. Whoops. Yeah, not playing good this morning. Trying to use the force and not shoot anything. Look, trust me. Whoa. Bloody hell. Oh well, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> so I've played this game almost every day I've come down the shed. I just can't not have a go. Definitely worth the, the money, because... Come here. It was 500 quid just before Christmas in Black Friday on Amazon. And before Black Friday it was about 680 quid. And I wasn't going to pay that for it. But 500's not bad to have your own Star Wars machine, you've got to admit. You know, it's an arcade machine I've wanted since I was a little kid. Never get bored of playing this. It's just brilliant, isn't it? It's a shame um, Empire wasn't as good. The uh, the Atari version, the arcade version of Empire Strikes Back, it's just dismal. It's almost like they were trying to cash in on this. It didn't really give it much thought at all. Oh, damn it. Jesus, I'm not playing well today. <laughs> oh, that's my excuse, right? Whoops. My own fault for choosing hard, isn't it? Great track, kid. That was one in a million. I know some people are holding out for the version with the bigger screen, but you know what? It fits in here quite nicely. Considering the limited space I've got in here, this ver this size is just spot on. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Got him. Good 
Yeah, yeah this, this screen size is it fits in here quite nice. I think a 19 inch one, I'm not sure whether I'd have been able to have uh, squeezed that in here. Too well here. Now it gets really silly, and you may as well just focus on not getting hit by the fireballs, otherwise, otherwise you're, uh, you're going to get hit a lot. Oh my god. Got him. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, here we go again. Top's gone. Right, let's go on the other side. There they are. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is getting silly now. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea. Let go. Bloody hell. Shit. <laughs> you meant to do that. No, I think I'm dead. Oh, I'm down to two shields. <laughs> My god. How the hell are you meant to fly through there?
shit, shit. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> oh my god. It's got a bit crazy, didn't it? Oh dear. So there you go folks, there's the arcade one-up Atari Star Wars cabinet and uh, hopefully if that doesn't convince you to go out and buy one, I don't know what will because that is just brilliant. Take care, we'll see you again soon. Bye bye now.